An important challenge is to translate the list of genes generated by genome sequencing into functional maps of the pathways that execute cellular processes. In this paper, our goal is to do this for the set of essential genes in C. elegans, a widely studied model system. In animal cells, functional maps are generated using high content screening. In a high content screen, the consequences of inhibiting gene function using RNA interference are captured by scoring a large parameter set. Similar gene function is inferred from similar phenotypes. And the ability to distinguish between different phenotypes depends on the information content of the assay. Most high content screening has been done in single cells, often imaging them over time to increase information content. Here we take a different approach to increase information content. Imaging a complex tissue in a multicellular organism, the nematode C. elegans. The tissue we chose is the C. elegans reproductive organ, or gonad, which we image at a single time point following gene knockdown. Gonad architecture depends on the coordination of a broad spectrum of basic cellular processes. This makes it an ideal substrate for phenotypic profiling. For the screen, worms were soaked in RNA corresponding to the target gene allowed to recover on food for 48 hours, and anesthetized for imaging. For each worm, we collected a confocal Z-series of the gonad. The strains we used expressed fluorescent markers that localized to the plasma membrane and the chromosomes, which allowed us to visualize the cell boundaries and the chromosomes within the tissue. All of the movies and data files are available at Phenobay. We collected gonad images for 554 essential genes, which gave a broad spectrum of phenotypes. Sorting these to group similar phenotypes also grouped genes with similar functions. To analyze phenotypes computationally, we parameterized them by scoring for defects in gonad architecture. In the colored boxes are examples of five regions of a control gonad. Below, the same regions are shown when specific defects are present. Overall, we parameterized the phenotype for each gene by scoring for 94 possible defects. Next, we assigned a quantitative measure, which we call the Connection Specificity Index, or CSI, to each gene-gene connection. The CSI compares phenotypic profiles and considers network context to assign a value between 0 and 1 to each connection. Values close to 1 indicate that the A and B phenotypes are similar and shared by only a small number of genes. Values close to 0 indicate that the phenotypes are dissimilar or are shared by many genes. For example, a CSI of 0.97 means that the A and B phenotypes are more similar to each other than to the phenotypes for 97% of the other genes in the dataset. Compared to the Pearson's correlation coefficient, constructing networks using the CSI reduces nonspecific connection noise and improves network clarity. We built the NBrowse graphical network browser to interactively visualize gene networks and easily integrate different types of functional links between genes. In this project, we use mBrowse to visualize the network of functional connections based on the GONA architecture data. mBrowse allows us to explore the network dynamically by zooming in to different regions of the graph and to visualize connections at different levels of specificity by varying the CSI threshold. In addition to functional links based on the GONA data, we added the ability to view connections based on a prior embryo filming dataset to construct an integrated network for the C. elegans essential gene set. Connections based on protein-protein interactions and expression correlation can also be displayed. NBrowse can also be used to display a region of the network centered on genes of interest. In this example, the region containing genes involved in protein degradation. At a low CSI threshold of 0.93, all of the genes implicated in protein degradation are linked to each other. As the CSI threshold is increased, the connections that remain reflect increasing phenotypic similarity, until at the very high CSI of 0.99, only genes with the most similar phenotypes remain connected. In the protein degradation region, these highest CSI connections are between genes whose products are in specific proteasome subcomplexes. This example shows that phenotypic profiling based on tissue architecture, together with CSI-based analysis, generates a high-resolution functional map. We hope you'll check out our paper and explore the accompanying Phenobank and NBrowse resources.